surface area of pyramids is really no different than any other surface area we've done so far. You find the area of each side and add them all together. Um, Well-known bases for pyramids are triangles and squares. Sometimes you'll see a hexagon, not very often. Sometimes you'll see other polygons, but today we're going to focus on triangles and squares. Um, very important, when you are using the height of the pyramid, you are going to use the slant height. So what that is, is it's, it's the height. It may only, it's going to look like it's not as tall because it's slanted, but it is the height. You're not using the height from the center of the pyramid up. You are using the slant height or the height of this triangle right here. Alright, so you add the area of the bases, area of the base to the area of all of the faces. We have five inch by five inches, because it says that this is a regular pyramid, which means that all the base sides are the same. So this is going to be five inches. Our slant height is eight. So the area of our base is five times five, which is 25. The area of one of our faces is area of a triangle equals one half base height, right? Our height is eight. It is our slant height of our pyramid. It's not the how tall our pyramid is, it is our slant height. Eight times five is 40, and we have to take half of that. One half times eight times five. So it's one half of 40, which equals 20. I have four sides exactly like that. I found this one, but I've actually got four. So if I multiply that by four, I have 80 for all of my sides together. I need to take that 80 and add it to my base. So the surface area of this is 105 inches squared. It is squared because it is an area. All right. This one has a triangular base. So the area of the base is going to be one half base height. My height is 8.7 and my base is 10. So it's one half times height times, sorry, times base times height. And so we have one half times 87 which is 43.5. Then we need to find the area of one of the sides. Our slant height is 14, and our, it's a regular pyramid, so I know this is 10 as well, so our base is 10. So it's 1 half times 14 times 10. 1 half times 140, so that equals 70. That is one of my sides. I have three sides. So when I multiply by three, I get 210, which is this surface area, this surface area, this surface area, and this surface area. I still need to add in the red surface area. So the red one is 43.5. 210, which is the blue triangles, plus 43.5. I'm going to rewrite that because that was terrible handwriting. 253.5 meters squared is the surface area of that triangular pyramid. All right, the roof is shaped like a square pyramid. One bundle of shingles covers 25 square feet. How many bundles should you buy to cover the roof? We don't have to worry about the base in this case. We are not going to shingle the base of this pyramid. We're only going to shingle the four sides. So we need to find one of the sides, the area of one of the sides, and then multiply by four. Our slant height is 15, so it's going to be one half times base times height. Base is 18, slant height is 15. I'm being a little lazy, so we're totally going to pull out our calculator here. All right, 0.5 times 18 times 15 equals 135, which is one side. I know this one 
this one side. This basically I know that much. But I have four sides, so I need to multiply that by four. So my surface area is 540 feet squared. That is not the question it asked us though. It asked us how many bundles we need to buy. One bundle covers 25 square feet, but I have 540 square feet. So if I divide by how much one bundle will do, so if I divide by 25, that will tell me how many bundles I need to buy. It is 21.6 bundles of shingles. However, Home Depot probably will not sell me 0.6 of a bundle, so my answer is going to be 22 bundles of shingles.